metformin helps with glucose in the body somehow the metabolism of glucose correct so why does that why do you think metformin works and and um do you feel real strong like you did last time that you're here about it yeah i feel even stronger there's a lot of data from looking at tens of thousands of people that went on metformin and and people who go on metformin who have type 2 diabetes who normally would live a short lifespan because they have more cardiovascular disease they're aging faster they're actually protected from these diseases relatively Mm. and those type 2 diabetics on on metformin live longer than people that don't have type 2 diabetes Mm. that's a remarkable observation Mm. and because once you start to study tens of thousands of people it starts to look real Mm-hmm. Um, and especially for those people that are predisposed like you are to cardiovascular disease mm-hmm. uh, and other issues like cancer, there it's very clear that metformin on average protects you against those diseases because it's not just working on keeping your glucose levels down. Remember, it's turning on the mitohormesis yep. and protecting the body through these defense mechanisms. Mm-hmm. Now, people might, might be thinking, well, okay, you've got these protective mechanisms, but what are they actually doing to make you healthier? Mm-hmm. Well, I've mentioned only one of the things they do, which is turning over those old proteins mm-hmm. that are either oxidized or have glucose stuck to them. But they do other things. They do protect telomeres when you turn them on, mm-hmm. uh, but they, they do another thing that's really interesting, uh, and that is that they can uh, rejuvenate stem cells. Mm-hmm. And so you get stem cells protected, and then they can divide, and then they can repopulate the body. Mm. Another thing that they do really well, particularly the sirtuins, is that they help repair broken DNA. Anyone who's been in the sun, I was Australian, I've been damaged badly by the sun. That ages you. It actually is, we know that damage to DNA accelerates aging. Mm. In my lab, we can cause a mouse to be 50% older by doing this process. Mm. The sirtuins will slow that down. We had a paper in Science in 2000 and, I think it was 2018 that showed that by raising NAD levels, by giving mice NMN, the same molecule that I take, their DNA repair systems were much more efficient. And if you damage them with radiation, which we were trying to simulate space radiation, but it's also similar to cosmic rays that you get if you fly a lot, yeah. which I know you do, yeah. uh, NMN was protecting those mice from the damage. And you can see the damage. You look in their livers, that was damage, damage, damage in a normal mouse and give, uh, give them NMN and it wasn't there for the most part. Mm. So that's another way it can protect against aging. So good, so good. Um, we're gonna keep going. Because I love this. Any disclaimers on any of this that we've said so far that you would say to somebody who says, ah, I got to get on this metformin or NAD? Is there any disclaimer, any downside, anything you would advise them to do just so that I make sure everyone's heard the totality of your thoughts about it? Yeah. Well, the one disclaimer is I'm actually not a trained physician. Mm-hmm. I train physician, but I'm not a trained physician. Mm-hmm. I'm a PhD who studies molecules. Mm-hmm. Um, and so there's that. So anytime you want to change something in your body, even if it's diet, mm-hmm. but if it's a supplement, um, and of course, a drug, you need your doctor. Uh, you want to consult them. So your doctor needs to know everything that's going on in your body because supplements are sometimes just as powerful as drugs. Okay. And if you cannot get, for example, this is a good point I think to bring up is if you cannot convince your doctor to get metformin, yeah. there is an alternative. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what I'm going to say. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a plant molecule called berberine mm-hmm. uh, from the berber plant. And if you, in clinical trials, if you take it at two grams a day, uh, it does lower blood glucose, similar to metformin, mm-hmm. and that you can buy on, you know, any pharmacy yep. or online. Yep. That's where I began. After we did our interview, I went to my doctor and I said, "We're getting on metformin," and she said, "No, we're not. Not right now. Not yet." And um, and so that's where I began. And then after a period of time, she did a little bit more research and agreed. Have you done any reading on Mott's C at all? I've done more than reading. Okay. What do you know about Mott C? Mott C. Well, I know the scientists involved and I help them start a company. Come on now. Really? Okay. I'm kind of embedded in this field. I know, <laughs> I know but this is awesome. Around. So. I'm older than you might think. Um, okay. So Mott C is really interesting. I, I really like it. Um, okay. I, I liked it so much I started a company. Yeah. So Mott C is, is a super interesting molecule yes. from, from a, an academic standpoint. Okay. Uh, and from a physiological standpoint. Okay. MOTC is made not by the DNA, uh, from the DNA in the nucleus, which is most of our chromosomes. It's from the chromosome that's in mitochondria. So mitochondria, because they're like these bacteria, um, they, they have their own circular DNA. It's not a chromosome, it's circular. And embedded in that circle piece of DNA in the mitochondria is a little gene called MOTC, mm-hmm. M- capital M-O-T-C. And the mitochondria make this little peptide, a little piece of a protein, the peptide is just a small protein, that gets leached out into the bloodstream and tells the rest of the body 
that a certain part of the body is experiencing hormesis. So when you exercise, your body is secreting MOTC into the body. And MOTC is really small, you can synthesize it and you can even get it. I don't know if it's still available in the US, but uh, it, it's in clinical trials right now in this company. It's called COBAR, C-O-H-B-A-R. Okay. Uh, and it's looking promising as a treatment for fatty liver, mm -hmm. but hopefully other age-related diseases. Mm -hmm.